everybody and welcome to this series of video on the new features of Bonita set.10, BCD 3.2 and BC 1.3 that we are going to present with my colleague Antoine. I am Delphine Kwan, I am Evangelist and Community Manager. That's why I am going to accompany you today in this overview throughout the different chapters. First of all, I would like to get back quickly to the key theme of the Bonita roadmap for this year and next year, which we have already covered in videos on the previous version of our solution, Bonita 7.9. Our roadmap, therefore, is based on the possibility of proposing an agile and flexible platform to promote maximum automation and use by a wide range of developers, technical or less technical. That's why we've been working on the following topics since Bonita 7.9 and we follow today. The first one is the componentization and tools for developers. We are going to make sure that you will get all the tools to be able to develop in or out of Bonita. Then if we go on with the projects, we give you all the tools to make sure that you will be able to continuously deliver your projects. First of all, with Bonita continuous delivery that is always um, evolving, but also through the studio because we are going to give you more ability to deploy projects. If we talk about application development, we follow our objective to give the possibility to do low code application development. And especially if you are not an expert in Java or in AngularJS through the UI designer, new capabilities and a reinforced link between studio and UI designer. We had already talked about Bonita Cloud in Bonita 7.9 that was the beginning of the story. Now, Bonita Cloud is fully available and we are going to introduce you with the, this new offer as well. And last but not least, we follow our innovation on intelligent continuous improvement and data analysis through a new version of BC that will give you even more capabilities. So if I go into details, I will tell you what's new in Bonita 7.10 and its new components. First of all, let's talk about adaptive case management. We give now the capability to have a real adaptive case management project with a tutorial. Then you will be able to deploy a project from Bonita Studio very easily. We will as, as well introduce you with the new Studio Welcome page, which is really practical. Now you can have a guest user to make sure that in your projects, if you need a user without authentication, you can use it. Then in order to go on with our strategy to get rid of GWT, we offer a new Bonita user application based on AngularJS HTML5 and totally customizable in the UI designer. We have now the BDM multiplicate capabilities and also a direct link between BDM and UI designer. UI designer merge is now easier thanks to a new interface. And also we have improved widgets and we offer two new widgets. If we talk about the infrastructure, we are going to talk about Docker and the way to monitor end to end your, uh, your infrastructure. Also, as I told you, we are going to tell you about our Bonita Cloud offer, but also about the new improvements on our two modules, BCD and BC. Now, to start, I will give you an update on ad adaptive case management and its associated tutorial to help you manage its integration intuitively. Let's start by studying together the possibility th brought by Adaptive Case Management with Bonita in Enterprise Edition. The goal of this project is to enable our customers to implement processes that are not fully structured because we cannot predict everything and we are going to focus here on creating and updating data rather than sequencing the task in order to make it possible to mix structure and unstructured content. 
So we have created a full use case as a tutorial for you to import directly from the welcome page of the studio. This use case is based on credit card dispute management resolution and contains a two pages application with a tutorial to make sure that you understand all concepts such as status, which is very important, or even handler, which is a specific event um, component that will be fully used in this project. And then when you have understood all concepts, you will be able to directly create your own adaptive case management application based on this example. If we need to talk about limitations, even if this project is available starting Bonita 7.9, on this specific version, the event handler cannot be used on a crystal environment. You will also have to watch out for Groovy Script's complexity, as it might impact the event handler performance. Finally, this application will not be compatible with native user task lists nor administrator monitoring yet. So now let's have a look at the results. Here you have the dashboard, which can give you a very good overview of what we'll be able to create thanks to this project. You have all the information from the customer. You will have the dispute information with the status, which is the status of the task. Here you have pending because it's a specific task in the process, but you could also use different uh, tasks that are not structured which are therefore in the state discretionary because it can be done at any time. And to have a very good overview of what's going on uh, on your case, the case history will give all the details, including the tasks that were not in the process. If you want to have more details, the full demo will be available on YouTube. Otherwise, my advice would be import the project and give it a try. So thank you, everybody. Now let's go to our next chapter presented by Antoine about deployment of all artifacts of a project in Bonita Studio.